Hey there everyone, happy Monday. Brian here with the White Chevy Experience. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I know I did. Kind of laid low, but got some things accomplished, so that was a nice. So today we are going to uh, dive into my soaps that I exchanged with DK Dam Fine Shaves. <clears throat> I'll link his channel below. We swapped uh, four different soaps, soap sets. So today I'm going to be using Murphy McNeil's Old Sport. Um, there you go, Old Sport. This is in the Kodiak base. So this is available again, um, but in the Aeon base, I have not tried the Aeon base from Murphy and McNeil, uh, but the Kodiak base is very nice. I am, <clears throat> I don't have the matching splash. The notes on this are almond, myrrh, myrrh, myrrh tonka, and vanilla. Um, you'd think you'd get a little bit of tobacco in there with the pipe. This totally reminds me of my grandpa. My grandfather smoked a pipe forever. Um, as you know, as long as I can remember, uh, I think it's Sir Walter Raleigh tobacco. I mean, I just remember that as a kid. Um, but <clears throat> I, I actually get a little, even though there's no tobacco in the, um, in the scent notes, I get a little bit of that. Maybe that's the myrrh. I don't know. Um, since I don't have a matching splash, I'm going to match it with um, the Soloist Recovery Splash. And this is uh, pink pepper, rum, and tobacco. It, so the scent on the soap is about a medium. So maybe about a five. Uh, the scent on this is probably about a four or five. But it smells pretty close. And uh, I did a live shave yesterday. So I, one of the Facebook groups I'm in, I did a live shave yesterday. And I used... Um, for the first time an open comb plate on my carb and I had the kids in here distracted I just totally irritated my neck bleeding worse probably than I ever have so we're gonna take it easy today so I'm gonna I'm busting out the Mercure 34C I have a uh, Derby Platinum blade in it I have a blade sample pack so um, I've got, got the Razor Rock 400 brush and uh, I'm all lathered up. Not an extremely high volume of lather in this. Um, I'm not really experienced with a Kodiak base, so I don't know if this is a low structure lather or not, but um, it's pretty creamy and smooth and looks pretty hydrated, so I'm just going to run with it. Probably only do one pass on the neck just to kind of clean it up. And then um, the rest of the face seems fine. So it was just the neck and it was mostly right here. I don't know. I, I mean, it's still a little red. I'm not sure if you can see that very well on the camera, but let's get started. So the scent on the Old Sport, um, I was curious about it and DK had it. So uh, we kind of went through each other's Instagram photos and stuff and videos and kind of picked some scents that we wanted the other to send. This is one of the ones that I picked and um, I'm glad I did. I really, really like it. Um, it's just got a really nice scent to it. So we're going on pretty good there. I feel like it's nice and creamy. Um, so this is definitely one that I'm going to be looking at picking up myself, even though it's the Aeon base, but I've heard that that's a really good base already. And I mean, honestly, I'm not like a base. I mean, I talk about the bases because I have the soap, but I'm not like, oh, I've got to have, you know, XYZ base. So as I said before, I think as long as you can get your shave on, Whatever works for you, whatever's within your budget, what, whatever's in your, your preferences, that's all that counts. All right. And the Mercure, I mean, it's a very mild razor. All I can tell you off the top, I'm not sure that I'm loving the Derby Premium Blade. I feel a little tugginess with it. So, I mean, it's set in there appropriately, so 
don't think it has anything to do with that. We did my Peloton ride this morning, so I think I mentioned we're doing this challenge. My wife and I. So there's three rides a week to the challenge. This is the first ride this week. And so they've been getting progressively harder. And I don't know, long story short, you ride within these, you take this test, this fitness test, and it gives you these zones that you're in based on your fitness level or how you perform in the test. And then you ride within those zones uh, in the ride. And so the rides to this point, I thought had been easy or fairly easy because they've been in zone twos and threes and sometimes four, but mostly twos and threes. Well, today's ride got up to zone four and five and uh, I'm feeling it. All right, let's do one pass on the neck. Boy, I tell you, I got myself so good yesterday. I had to break out the Allen block, which is just surprising. Cause I, it's actually, so my wife got me this, I'll show it to you. And I'll get back to it when my neck feels a little bit better and I can pay more attention. But this is a, the car, but, and it's the open comb, but it's the A-plate. So, I mean, which is supposed to be equivalent to the solid bar B-plate in terms of blade feel and aggressiveness or whatever, which is not, you know, not very aggressive. Um, and the B-plate, solid bar B-plates, B and C are my two favorite plates on the car. So I don't know. I don't know. Part of it is just like I, I was using different razors um, over the last couple of weeks. You know, I had um, that Ascension double open comb, which I really liked that one. And um, I borrowed that Henson, had that Henson and that pass around. And David let me borrow those charcoal goods. So I felt like I was just kind of trying out some some razors, so I know the geometry and the cap um, orientation, not orientation, but the cap geometry is different. So I hadn't used the carb in a while. In fact, I probably haven't used the carb in quite a while because then I got things for Christmas like the Rockwell, the 6C, and then I had the Haircut and Shave Company, one that I got from Ken. And then I had that everyday razor from Charcoal Goods. So anyways, some soap on my hand. I'm not, I am, I am not loving this blade. And since I'm not going to do my neck again, I don't know why I slathered it up. Habit, I guess. Rained quite a bit this weekend here, so I didn't do, we didn't do a ton this weekend. I did get, we got some new blinds for our downstairs, so I got those hung up yesterday. So I felt a little accomplished there. My wife is applying for a master's program in public health, so she was working on her application a lot this weekend. So I was trying to do some kid duty stuff and keep them occupied.
So if she can do that, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm done with education. Because I would not be wanting to write all those essays and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot of work. All right, I don't know, we'll just leave that on there. Maybe that will help soothe it. So anyways, <clears throat> she's got a degree in public health and has worked in healthcare, but then she's been actually home with the kids for the last, I see my son, shortly after my son was born, we decided that she was gonna stay home. So my daughter's almost six, he's almost four. So I think it's been about three and a half years that she's been home. And hopefully my daughter, things, things get better soon, right? And the kids go back to school, please. Um, I've been still going to work every day, so, um, but my wife is, <laughs> it's a lot of work to keep kids on online school. Those of you who have young children, my daughter's in kindergarten. She's like a whack-a-mole, man. I mean, we got her set up in a room. She's got a desk. She's got her little iPad. She's in there. But I mean, she's like constantly out of her room doing something else or trying to do something. And then my wife's then also dealing with my almost four-year-old son at the same time. So it's a lot of work. I have total respect for even even more respect for what she's doing now. I mean, you know, because parents are supposed to now expect it to be not only, you know, cared, you know, caring for their children, but also teachers and uh, in this whole process. So in a sense, I mean, they're not teaching the kids the material, but they are trying to make sure the kids are online. It's not easy for a kindergartner to stay focused, that's for sure, or any young kid, really. So anyways, hopefully school comes back sooner than later, and then my wife wants to get her master's in public health and go back to work. And So hopefully that will all pan out. I'm really enjoying this old sport scent. It does kind of remind me of my grandpa without feeling like it's too old. All right. So I hear my son up. Wife is on the Peloton. <laughs> so it's a 45 minute ride. So I did mine. And so I've been showering while well, I shower and shave. She's doing hers. So, all right. I'm going to rinse off here. Son will be up here any moment, anyways. All right, old sport. I like it. It's like an old English, old English dude. And we play a little game of cricket, shall we? But anyways, all right. No offense intended. Intended there. British is very distinguished, gentlemanly. Definitely a little more tobacco. This has got the rum, but so not the same, but complimentary. Hey, buddy. I knew that was coming. How's it going? Mommy on her bike? Yeah. Yep. 
All right, folks, I'm out. Thanks for tuning in. Dad? Yep. Why Got some. Is Daddy? Okay, just a second, buddy. Um, so, you turn that off, buddy. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll catch you on the channel soon. Old Sport mixed with the Soloist. Good combination. Mercure 34C hey. worked fine. Hopefully hey, the neck Daddy. calms down. Water. I see that water, buddy. All right, thanks and have a good day, everybody.